All right, my dudes. Today, our tutorial is on a move called the half orbit. Here it is. That's the move. And here is a slow mo. Okay, so let's get right into it. You're going to start off this move by grabbing the bite handle, uh, the one with the latch, in between your thumb and your index finger. And so you're going to grab it about three quarters of the way up the knife right here. And you see my thumb is pinching up here and my index is pinching right around, right before the knuckle there. This knuckle was right about there. You can see I've got my other three fingers resting on it, but they're, they're just resting for the most part. It's important with this grip that you're able to release the safe handle like that. So once you've got this grip with your thumb, your index finger, and you're able to release the safe handle, what you're going to do is you're going to do just that. Um, you're going to release the safe handle. And as you release the safe handle, you're going to do a pull towards yourself. So once again, right, you got your thumb, you got your index finger, you're going to release the handle, and you're going to pull towards yourself. And as you pull, what's going to happen is, so the knife is being pulled, it's spinning around, I'm going to take my index finger, my last three fingers, and I'm going to kind of curl them under. And what that's going to do is it's going to cause the angle to change, and it's going to hit higher up on my thumb. So anyways, thumb, index finger, you got the knife closed, bite handle. You're going to release the safe handle. At the same time, you're going to pull towards yourself, and you're going to do that twist, and the knife is going to hit on your thumb right about there. So right about at the knuckle right there. So higher up is a better for the most part. You don't want to be way too high, but you don't want it, you definitely don't want it to be too low because that's no good. So anyway, so once you got that figured out, you should just practice this over and over a couple times, right? So you got the bite handle, you release and you pull towards yourself. And you release and you pull towards yourself. And once you can get it, so you're right about here, right? Your thumb is right, your position's right, everything's right, you can do that smooth. Um, all you're gonna do is well we'll get on to the next step basically. Just as the knife hits your thumb you're going to release with your last four fingers. And what that's going to do is it's going to cause the knife to spin, right? So if you release right at the right time, it's going to start spinning around your thumb. And the spin is going to be a pretty small spin because it's going to go only about halfway around. So you have the bite handle, you pull back, it's going to hit your thumb, you release, and it's going to do about a half rotation and you're going to catch the safe handle. So you throw the bite handle, it comes around and you catch the safe handle in this upside down position. Of course, the spin's going to still be happening, right? And so the knife is going to come, and it's going to come around. It's going to ricochet off your fingers, and it'll come down. So I'll, sh I'll show you what that looks like. So it'll look just like that. Um, it'll take a while to get used to that, but as long as you're hitting in the right spot, and it's just a matter of timing after that, right? Um, so once you have that, you're able to do that. So you pull back, spins around, you catch the safe handle. It's going to ricochet off of your last finger. On the way back up, what's going to happen is the knife's going to come towards your thumb, and just as it's about to hit your thumb, because your thumb's going to be holding on to the, the handle, right? You basically just take your thumb and you're just going to slide it off to the side, and you're going to catch the knife like that. And you see, for me, I've, I've still even got it pinched, but it's just out of the way. So I'll show you what that looks like, all in all, just like that, right? And you can catch it in the reverse grip. It looks pretty cool. Um, now, of course, one thing to note is that the blade is pointing towards you, right? Which is not as cool as if the blade's pointing away from you and you're ready to do something or something. But um, to fix that, what you can do is you can actually do this one starting with the safe handle. And the thing is, you're going to have to catch the bite handle, and so you don't want it to ricochet, but there's ways of playing with momentum. So what you can do is just as it's about to hit, basically, what you're going to do, with, if, if, if you're, if you're going to catch the bite handle, is you just twist the knife backwards like that. And what that's going to do is as the knife's coming towards you, you twist this handle back and it's not going to hit you, basically. And then you can kind of swing it up and catch it in the right way. So that's it. Hope you liked that one. Thanks for watching. Peace.